Hello, welcome to Minecraft Maker. This is Theron, and today I'm going to be, I'm going to do, this is going to probably be a multi-part thing, because it's a fairly sizable build. Um, this is my chicken farm version 2. Uh, version 1 I tore down because it didn't really work the way I wanted. Um, this one here was, was based partly on um, the monkey farms design for uh, a ch chicken farm and uh, automatic cooker and all that. Um, that was um, so that was that was useful in terms of the uh, the space of actually storing the chickens up here. Um, although it's pretty straightforward, and I'm sure he didn't invent it. Um, and I've got this lever here to uh, I can show you um, what's going on here. So I have a five by five. A uh, five by five pit here, and a, w a single water block placed in the corner will flow over towards everything over towards this other corner without actually flowing into the corner or into a hole placed in the corner there. So I can place a hopper feeds down into a chest, and we place signs here. And of course, when we when we fill the water um, from up here, uh, this stone brick is a piston that. Ex retracts into here it's a sticky piston and there's a water block up inside there that will then spill out so if I go ahead and do that you can see it flowing out and then if we place a couple blocks in the corner here this provides a place for chickens to sort of sit and float around when they lay eggs the eggs will go down um, into this lower corner and then down here onto this hopper um, and the chickens stay safe up above. Uh, I put in this uh, control down here to retract or extend the piston to block off the water supply so that the chickens then flow down, the chickens themselves flow down into this space above the hopper here, which I closed off with this block. Um, and when they're sitting there, then I can throw this lever, which put, pushes another block with also with the sticky piston. Um, into the block suffocates all the chickens and kills them all um, so it's a it's a fast and efficient way of you can see water up there um, it's interesting the piston is transparent through here but the the actual you know piston part is uh, will block the water so that's convenient um, and then all the dead chickens and feathers fall down into here um, and then you can know, oh look, I got lots of eggs, and you'll have, in that case, then chickens and feathers as well. Which is fine, but then if you've got to climb all the way up here to throw the chicken eggs back in, that's not so great. So I designed a little um, system here to demonstrate um, a, uh, a way of an elevator. So this uses a series of droppers and a dispenser to shoot chickens down into the little chamber here. And then I have a little crusher, which then will kill the chickens. And then I have a little, another little thing to open it up so you can walk it and pick up stuff. Um, oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's necessary, right, for the redstone. Um, so this uses the same pulse generator circuit that um, was used in the automated chicken cooker. Um, it's a it's a very clever circuit and by throwing a um, It's empty so let's go get some eggs here and load it up Okay, so by throwing a lever or some other power source when you power this this comparator will never trigger Oh, there were a couple eggs in the system, it sounds like. Let's see if anything hatched. No. Okay, good. Um, by, by putting power onto this here, this comparator will never fire. Because the when there's something in here, this comparator will go on at a variable level to indicate how much stuff is inside the, uh, the dropper. Uh, this repeater will then put in a... a power 15 into the back of the comparator 
and it will compare to the uh, the output of the comparator here which goes over here as well um, doesn't have to be exactly laid out the way it was in the chicken cooker um, but if you turn this turn on a power source here it will always put in 15 here so the output of this will always be constant um, so let's go let's go load up the the hopper here the dropper so you notice well, let's do it the correct way so this is our egg supply we put the eggs in here and you notice they will feed down through the hopper into this dispenser or into this dropper um, and then I have a stack of droppers all facing up in order for them to feed into each other they have to be triggered with a little ladder of uh, alternating uh, essentially a little clock um, and I do that feeding off the pulse generator so once we're loaded up here I can come here and turn on and you can you can see we can go look at the dropper and the dispenser up top it's receiving them and everything's receiving pulses oh look and there's chickens and the chickens will eventually flow in and once we run out of eggs we'll have some percentage of the eggs will turn into baby chickens okay so we got several chickens down there if we waited for them if they were sitting on top of a hopper when they laid eggs they, the eggs would go through the hopper um, in the meantime we can kill the baby chickens and yeah, that's pretty awful but um, and they don't really drop anything so this is the egg thingy version 3.0 um, I haven't completed it's it's functionally complete um, but I need to finish up the wiring this was just to really sort of a proof of concept and notice I've got in here the uh, a glass ceiling so it is a sealed system all the chickens are up here they drop they they lay eggs they go down into here into this hole in the corner through the hopper and they fill up this chest this chest in the meantime feeds through a hopper into a series of droppers so the same dropper elevator um, so notice this hot this dropper is completely full I have the system in standby mode so it's turned off at the moment so this dropper will fill up this hopper will then fill up and then it will backfill into the chest so basically it'll take time for you know 16 times 9 plus 16 times 5 to uh, to charge the system before the eggs start filling up into the large chest which is fine um, and this is the state I would normally leave it on so it would fill up and I would then pull eggs from here so um, I can however um, turn on and off I've got an extra lever here I can turn on and off this hopper here or this dropper so the dropper the hop I think I actually have it the lever connected to this hopper here which I can prevent the hopper from feeding stuff into the dropper yes it's it's actually it is on this block here so I could um, prevent it from feeding into the dropper if I wanted to short circuit the whole process if I had the whole system running I can do that and it and stuff will stop in the uh, in the hopper they will flow from the chest into the hopper but once the hopper is filled up then it will start backing up into the chest um, and then uh, so then I have the same crusher here uh, and again part as part of the final build I will move that down into the front here to have a little control panel and and then up here right I have a controller uh, to control the upper water reservoir uh, to drain it or fill it so it's in fill position now if I move it to drain all these chickens will then drop down into this space here above the hopper 
and um, <laughs> and they'll sit there laying eggs and they'll all be right here instead of up in the water and then if I want to I can you know do the same thing as the as version 2 over here I can then crush them and uh, collect their dead carcasses out of here uh, and then if I turn on the elevator here I'll stop it Uh, if I turn on the elevator, uh, then it'll start lifting up stuff out of this dropper all the way up to the top to my dispenser, which is in the side over here, which shoots out this way. Um, now that this is covered, I probably don't need this breaker block here. The eggs without the breaker block and the the roof layer not there, the eggs would sometimes shoot out of the dispenser and clear the top over here and shoot off over into the distance. So the breaker block was just there for the eggs to go to and break on. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go back and start building this in my survival world. Um, and the interesting thing was is that the the build version one and version two I built from the top down I just built up a long ways and then I started building out the the, uh, the the reservoir up top and the first one was really tall I built a central pillar and then built a structure on top of that and it was way high off the ground and I realized if I wanted to route stuff down to a chest I didn't want to have to put in extra hoppers because I didn't want to have to make use all the extra resources in my survival uh, world when I got around to actually building it. So this one is kind of built from the bottom up in that I figured out where I wanted stuff to go and then I figured out from there the height at which everything had to go. It was a little bit trickier but now that I know where it is I will use this as a reference. Uh, the walls are a little thicker here so that I can hide all the redstone. Um, so this inner structure, this inner frame, is really where the where the reservoir is. And then I've got uh, essentially three thick walls on each side. And this side might actually be four thick. Where I can stick all of the... Cause this is the corner above this hopper is the corner of the thing. So then I've got four thick on this side got three thick on that side and I need a four thick over here just to give me the extra space to hide the pulse generator right um, and then I plan to relocate all of these levers along the front so the egg elevator lever will probably be here the hopper disable here the crush will be here or here and then the um, uh, the reservoir filler drain will be over on the right. So you'll be able to control the whole thing from ground level right here just by walking along throwing the switches. I'll put the put the signs on so we know where everything is. So um, I've laid out the footprint of the whole thing in my survival world and I need to now go in and start placing some of the stuff like the hopper and the chest and start build, fleshing out the, uh, the basics so that I can then build up, build the reservoir and uh, and start start laying it out. Uh, ultimately, I don't want it to be a big dirt structure like this. I do want to skin the whole thing in stone, and it will be a uh, a large stone monolith. All the interior can be dirt; doesn't really matter because uh, you won't be able to see it. And I'll, I'll leave a lot of the interior like this hollow. I'll just have to light it so I don't get spawns inside there. Uh, so that's so that's it. Uh, remember, it's four on the left. And the chest is one back. Um, I am one thick, one wall thick on the front, which uh, means I will probably need to put up scaffolding and build with stone on the front in the first place because once it's filled with water, replacing that water with stone without um, screwing things up can be a little bit tricky. So let's get started. Alright, 
time is it? Good, it's morning. <sighs> Didn't remember where I left it. So, redstone stuff. So I am gonna need a couple hoppers. I need to make a couple of chests. I don't need these eggs, so. Do that. And I'll need, I'll need all this stuff, but I don't need it just yet. I need a lot of dirt. Fortunately, I have a chest full of dirt. Sounds funny, but. Well, it's not full. I probably will need to dig out more dirt in order to, to do this, but that's relatively easy. Especially since I'm ta thinking about flattening out, um, making a path from the nether portal return, which is just on the other side of this hill over there, to over here. I'm thinking I might want to basically level this mountain here, or this hill, and relocate some of the dirt over here. I'll probably end up with extra dirt because of that. And of course I have my dirt tower, which doesn't actually have to be a dirt tower. So, ah, stop it. Stop getting out. I don't have to breed more of you. <coughs> so this is the, the new automated chicken paddock. And so, three, four, um, Right, so I need to make a crafting table. I may as well have one out here. And, oh nice, the compass is still pointing in the wrong direction, so. Or is it? Yeah. Okay, crafting table. Now I need to make chests. I need two of them. Two chests, and I can right. Okay. Oh. One downside of having the chicken processor too close to your uh, to your house. I don't mind the sound of the clucking. It's just the constant death screeches of the uh, the chickens it can be a little bit disturbing. I need food. Okay, so I need I need stuff. Okay. Okay, pardon me a moment. I need to dropper, I don't remember. I think the dropper is... Give me some redstone. And the dropper... I don't remember how to craft a dropper. Is it just this? Is it this? Yeah! I rock. Okay, good. Didn't have to go look it up. Okay, so we need the drop. How did you get out? Yeah, I know. Ah, sorry. The other nice thing about closed circuit chicken processing units is, uh, um, yeah, you don't have to worry about them escaping. All right. Okay. So here's where the hopper goes. The dropper needs to be here facing up. And here's the dropper I just made. Yeah. And then uh, this goes faces up. Yeah. And then I put the hopper off of that. Put one of the hoppers here. Oops. Hold down the shift key to attach it. So now the hopper feeds into that. Now I can put the chest. I want to put a double wide chest. I can put the chest. Again, hold the shift key, shift, and shift. All right, so now, if I open this up and I throw, say, the redstone dust in, the redstone dust feeds in through the hopper into the dropper. Nice. Okay, good. 
Now, I need to build the uh, the hopper on top of this guy. So I put my other hopper here. And um, shift click there. Okay. So this is going to be This spot here will be where the eggs and whatnot land. Um, that means we'll get back up here. This will be the hole underneath the corner of the the reservoir. And this guy here. Yeah, that's good. I need that one. And then, um, so this space above the hopper will be the hole underneath the reservoir. This block here will be the one attached to the sticky piston. So this will be the space where it normally lives. Sticky piston will go here. I think that fell into the hopper. Yes, it did. Why is that hopper not feeding into the chest? Oh, right. Duh. Can't have the block on top of the chest. The chest won't open. The chest can't open. the chest can't open, the hopper won't feed into it. Okay, test that again. Stuff in the hopper, feeds down into the chest. Feeds from the chest into this hopper, and from that hopper into the dropper. Okay, good. So I said, we're building from the bottom up here. Takes a little bit more planning, but we're, we're we'll be okay. And this here, I can get rid of this because this is going to be a pile of dispensers or a pile of, of droppers. I need to go craft all those. Fortunately, um, I have plenty of resources to do it. Right, just reminding myself it's that. So I need don't remember how many I need, but it's probably at least six, so let's go ahead and make them. Okay. And I will need to build a little inverter tower next to the shoot. Okay. Hang on a second. Hey guys. Oh, the sun is going down. Let's um let's get out of here. I might want to build a little shed near the work site for the time being to hold a bed. Anyway, so that's our start. Um it's probably gone on long enough here, so I will say good night and uh We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching and come back and watch part two. All right, thank you.